So, you want to get good at boating in Lancer Battle Group, well, then this video is something you should watch at least once, welcome to Lancer Battle Group 101, where I will be teaching you the basics on how to play Battle Group. I will also be making this video based on the assumption that you have watched my intro to Lancer Battle Group video that already talked about what this TTRPG is about, also, I will not be teaching you on how to build your own fleet or roleplay, I will only be fully focusing on the combat scene and its mechanic, anyway, let's show you how everything works. First, before a battle could start, there's one thing you and your fellow players need to collectively pick, to set a posture, or perform an uptime actions. Set a posture is just picking which of the three range bands, extreme, long, and scope, that your battle group will start in. This could be an important decision because range will affect your weapon capability, longer range favors charge gun, shorter range favors everything else, including payload weapons so their payload could arrive faster, being closer also means that more enemy attack or action could affect you, which means more danger. Setting a posture also affects your starting amount of actions, as conservative posture at extreme range give you an extra tactics, which conservative commander will most likely use for supportive tactics because everything is too far, while aggressive posture at scope range only allows you to take one action, which aggressive commander will probably use to punch holes in something, might even get something killed in the first shot. If your group pick up time actions, all of you will start in extreme range and get to choose one of said actions and roll d20 to determine the result, which can include consult gunnery for better accuracy, consult senior officer for reserve, and power at a cost for something very powerful, at a cost, that's what it said. You could also plot a course to hopefully move your battle group beyond extreme range and might even get a lucky chance to pick another uptime action, or just crash into the enemy battle groups. After making your choice, let's begin the match. In battle group, each turn is separated into various phases, logistics, impact, action, and boarding. In logistic phase, charge, active payload attacks, and previously used reloading weapons can remove one counter, which also means this is the phase where the super heavy starts humming dangerously, and missiles get even closer. So, very fittingly, the next phase is the impact phase, where both charge and payload attack hit if their counter reaches zero, a lot of things often died in this phase, and the damage is calculated after every attack is rolled, so you can't kill someone first to prevent them from blowing you up, you can also hold your attack but unless you have a very good reason to, you probably shouldn't. After that is the action phase, where you can perform action, every player's battle group can perform one maneuver and one tactics per round, they can also convert one maneuver to tactics but not vice versa, by the way, that's two actions per battle group, not per ship, having more ship in a battle group is like having more options, or redundancy, so even when some is down, you can perform at 100%. Maneuver, as its name implied, is an action used for moving the ship, this includes all ahead full, which moves your battle group forward and fire a primary before or after moving, open fire, which you just shoot either a super heavy or two primaries, retrograde burn, we will talk about that in a moment, let you move your battle group back or ignore a hostile effect that force you to move, a sort of frequent thing, and also give you bolster, granting you more defensive stat. Lastly, you have ramming speed, also known as the very last resort because nothing about this maneuver is good, unless you have lost every single one of your weapons, there's absolutely no point to use this maneuver, and even then, it's probably better to retreat by that point. Also, when you attack as part of a maneuver, you can only fire two types of weapons, non-charge weapons, and payload weapons, as charge gun automatically fires when its charge counter reaches zero, you also don't roll for payload attack, the target instead has to roll their interdiction to reduce the incoming damage when the missile arrives at where it wants to be. Tactics on the other hand, is used for everything else, the following are basic tactics options every battle group has, this includes careful shot, which lets you disable the ship instead of blowing it into atoms because this TTRPG has a final damage table to determine how vaporized a ship is in case you want to keep it intact for story reason, lock firing solution, which is just Lancer's lock on in battle group, emergency maneuver, which is a limited tactics that can move your ship, and finally, defensive screen, you know, the thing frigates do, if you want your battleship alive, I recommend this tactic. Other than that, Many systems and equipments can also provide you with extra tactics to use, which can include fighter wings and borders, which has a unique tactic to deploy them, and has a whole phase dedicated to them. Boarding phase, is exactly what it sounds like, this is where the boarding action takes place, if you have a boarding unit on board, first, roll d20 against the ship's internal defense which is usually an 8, 
If you succeed, your boarders can perform their duty to disrupt the hostile ship, some boarding units also have their own unique command to wreak havocs in a ship. To get rid of boarders, a battle group has two options, roll d20 at the end of its turn to hopefully roll above the boarding unit's tenacity, a stat that represents how sticky the boarders are, or they could spend a maneuver in action phase to guarantee kicking the unwanted occupants out. <coughs> After being kicked out, unlike basically every other naval combat TTRPG I could think of, boarders are not expended, unless they are literally expendable, you can totally use them again. And, yeah, that's basically all the combat mechanic you need to know, Lancer battle group is a lot more simpler than Lancer, but that doesn't mean it isn't complex since you have total freedom to build your own battle group and the hostile NPCs are quite modular too, let's talk a bit on what you might face in a battlefield. NPC battle groups are built from three components, capital ships, escorts, and aces, capitals are capitals, escorts are escort vessels that support the capital ships or templates that upgrade the capital, and aces are unique powerful wings that there can only be one of on field. A NPC battle group can be consisted of, at most, one capital, three escorts, and an ace, but unless your GM is sadistic, you most likely won't see that ridiculous amount. A NPC battle group also has one maneuver and tactics, with each addition of escort or ace allowing for one extra action each, but only for said escort or ace, if the escort or ace do not have an associated maneuver or tactics, they give none. While this sounds like a NPC battle group is gonna be a pain in the butt, this system allows everything in a NPC battle group to do meaningful impact to the players on a battlefield before dying because you can easily kill NPC fast, just like in Lancer. Since NPC battle groups are stationed in the center of a gyre while only the player's battle groups can move around, quite a few of their maneuver and tactics can move the player around, representing the NPC doing maneuver. This means you can't just stay put and keep pumping shots into them, the NPC has a say in your plan too. But what if, due to luck or ill planning, a battle dragged on longer than expected, in which case you should start worrying that things didn't go as planned, at the logistic phase of round 5, right after round 3 or 4 that should have cleaned up a lot of ships, you have the option to retreat through near light ejection, which could be catastrophic but that's still better than being dead. Every logistic phase afterward, you can always choose to retreat, which you should because things will get worse from this point onward, as the gyre will begin to collapse and the range band you can move get smaller and smaller. At round 8, you can no longer retreat because everyone is at point blank range, you can only survive, surrender, win, or die. After winning or surviving through a battle or two, congratulation, you get to have some advancements, maybe, while battle group isn't like Lancer where you can get a massive upgrade past every mission, you might still get a tiny bit dependent on how you and your ships performed on field, like for example, the Azure Star, for fucking dying. This can range from commendations, which are medals that provide some bonuses, and will look absolutely ridiculous if your commander got them all, legacies, which are essentially pieces of memorable events that have happened to a ship, and reputations, which are narrative advancements useful in narrative scenarios. And that's basically everything you need to know to get through a battle in Lancer Battle Group, if you want to see a more visual examples, you know, totally not what I'm doing right now, you can also check out my running fleet special that might be slightly outdated from running old version of the rule, but it's still very viable as an example. Anyway, that's all for now, and I will see you all next time. Hello there, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell button. If you really want to support my channel, you could visit my Patreon page, or buy me some Kofi, links in the description. Anyway, have a nice day.